Yeah, let's get a little beta dine on there. So uh, this is the right wrist. You've got a bump there. So uh, we're going to call it a cyst. You're here to see cyst buster. I'm, yes. I'm cyst buster. <laughs> That's why I was going to ask what your your yeah. YouTube channel uh, is. It's just my name. Just my name. But okay. we might change it to something, you know, fun. fun. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Well, I bet you do a variety of things That's the thing. Here. We, do, your... we do a ton of stuff. Yeah. yeah. We do a lot of things. I'm probably leaning in front of the camera. So this is just a little beta dine to kind of clean the area up there. Oh, okay. okay. All right, and uh, you learned about sin bumps, right? I did, although right. we don't call them because I'm an angel. You're, well, I right. have no sin. Well, there you go. I go to confession on a regular basis. Well, so all right. I come out with a shiny soul. Well, there and I think with your history of the Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> um, I, I was acquitted you were on a technicality. Well, there you go. Still. So she just confessed to. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was forgiven because she, she goes. Well, I go to confession on a regular. All right, jailbird. Whatever <laughs> okay. you say. Oh, we're going to spray a little cold spray and then I'm going to okay. numb this up for you a little bit. This is the smallest needle in the house. Are you okay. ready? Okay, I am. There we go. A little, what you going to feel? Stick sting and a burn. Stick sting and a burn. Stick sting and a burn. Yeah, so this is a little 1% lidocaine buffered, buffered with epi going in. There we go. Ooh. The needle, the needle, the needle, the, the weasel needle, needle <laughs> the needle froze. You're thinking of animals. I know. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, then again. <laughs> Oh, it looks so even you, bigger, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm like, you put stuff in there and it uh, got bigger. Okay. And we talked about ganglion cysts in general, but these erupt from the synovial lining of the bones of the wrist, right? And they can show up at any point. But they're called sin bumps because in the good old days, folks used to get the, get the big family Bible and whack them. Uh, and they'll go away. So a lot of times, though, they do return. Um, and in your case, I estimate you probably have about a 50-50 chance that this is going to return despite us aspirating it. If it does, we'll aspirate it once more. If it returns after that, then you get to go visit our friendly hand surgeon and have it surgically removed. Okay, okay. But hopefully that won't happen. No. All right. Are you ready, Jailbird? I am. All right. You sure you like to watch this? Well, I don't know, but I'll see. You haven't ever done it before? No, but I have three children. Oh, yeah. Have you stuck needles in them? No, but childbirth is a thing. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you delivered babies? Yes, lots of babies. Oh. This is very jelly-like. See, it's coming out of there. It looks like, yeah. a, like a little worm. Yeah. So we're just going to hold negative pressure on that and see how much comes out. It doesn't okay. take much. Pressure? It doesn't take much jelly coming out for that to um, to go down, so to speak. Ah. Yeah. Come on. Move it a little bit. Well, I know we're in the right place. That's the right wrist and the right place. Yes, that may be all we get. We'll give it a little more. I think it's slowly kind of coming out there. A little bit more. Come on. So there's more than it looks like because that 18 gauge needle is large enough to hold a, a bit of quantity as well. So. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of blood there now. So we're probably at the end. So there you go. Okay. Gummy Jean, you can take that. How was that? It was fine, just a little pressure. Just a little I felt. pressure? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So there you go. Gummy Jean, we just need a dressing. She's going to put a little dressing on there for you. Okay. We like putting a little compression dressing on this. It seems to kind of help prevent uh, this from coming back right away. Okay. But like I said, your your risk is still pretty high that this is going to come back. So okay. don't be surprised if it does. Okie dokie. Uh, but, but we hope for you that it doesn't. Yeah. Now, I think that was probably there longer than a month. You thought that, okay. it, that it showed yeah. up about a month because that was pretty thick. Okay. Right? When it's thicker like that, generally okay. it means yeah. that the ganglion cyst has been there a little longer. Okay. But sometimes they're small and you don't really notice yeah. them. I think that yeah. is it, and then it just and then it just sort of pooped up a little bit. Yes, and that's when I saw it. All right, Jailbird. So yes, thank you so much, You're and uh, we'll let you know where you can see the video. Perfect. Thank you. Tell us something. Hi, I'm Suzanne, and I take Dr. G's Meta Seven. This right here. I've been taking it since yeah. um, well for one month actually, okay. and and I really enjoy it because. Uh, it activates my life, just like it says. I have lots of energy. You do have more energy. And, yes, a lot and more you're energy. you're taking it as part of a weight loss program, right? Yes. Okay, and now we have lost some weight, but we're not gonna attribute all of that to the Meta 7 because we, no. use, we use something else to help. But the good thing is, is while you're losing weight, you still have lots of... Energy. Yeah, <laughs> thanks.
<laughs> you're welcome. And I like to swim, and so it's great because I can swim extra long because of the Meta 7. I, you know, I really, really enjoy it. Awesome. So, yes. Thanks. You're welcome. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's 7-piece kit, available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case, and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below.